Well, last week, speaking of vaccines, Pfizer announced new trial results for its COVID-19 vaccine that show an efficacy rate of 95% with no serious side effects. So what does that mean for all of us going forward? Joining us now, the man who led Pfizer's clinical trial at Yale, Associate <laughs> Professor of Medicine and Infectious Disease Specialist, Dr. Onyemo Obuagu. Sir, thank you so much for being here. We're, we're seeing all these good results. What do you attribute it to? We hear 90, 95% efficacy. It sounds great. So what do we attribute such uh, good results to right now? Yeah, so, um, you know, 95% efficacy for a vaccine is still something we celebrate in the field of infectious disease because it, it means that majority of individuals who get the vaccine will be uh, protected against the disease, which is really exciting. You know, the Pfizer vaccine was novel technology using messenger RNA, and so there hadn't been quite a phase three trial like this conducted before. So sometimes the science seems right and things seem great, but you really are just waiting for the clinical trials to have that real world test for, for the vaccine. So, you know, I'm probably accurate if I say that most of us were surprised by just how effective it was, but that really is, is great news for everyone. It's certainly great news for everyone, but still a lot of questions as to when everyone will be able to take this vaccine and maybe even more importantly, at what point does this vaccine actually stop the spread of COVID-19? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, you know, it's been said a lot of times that vaccines don't save lives, but the vaccination does. So I think to translate the efficacy from the trial into real world effectiveness will have to depend on a lot of people getting the vaccination so that we can have a, a decent amount of the population who are protected against the disease. That's exactly how we achieve herd immunity, and that could lead to, to really declining case numbers at the end of the pandemic. And there's concerns about, you know, safety, and if the efficacy numbers are real, but you know, again, like many others, hopefully trusted voices out there, just reassuring the public that the studies have been well designed, well conducted, and that the FDA will provide, you know, uh, excellent and independent oversight and review of the vaccines so that if there's emergency use authorization or emergency approval, that people can confidently roll up their sleeves, get the shot, and hopefully we get to the end of this thing. Well, Dr. Onyemo Obuagu, sir, that was a that was a good PR as well. You're an infectious <laughs> disease specialist, but also doing some good PR. Thank you so much for your time. Congrats on the work that you have been doing. And really thank you on the work that so many of you all uh, are doing to get this vaccine and get this pandemic under control. Thanks so much. It's my pleasure. And thanks to all the participants who, who engaged in the trial. So many people coming together yeah. to make this hopefully a safer world to live in. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.